Welcome back to another Mentoring Minute on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll get to our uh, host, uh, Mr. Dan Como, in just a minute. But first, let's hear from our sponsors. We want to thank Violet Defense for sponsoring the Educational AD Podcast and the Mentoring Minutes. Violet Defense is dedicated to protecting our world from germs by bringing the power of UV disinfection to everyday spaces. Their patented technology enables them to harness the power of the sun to incorporate ultraviolet light into products and environments like never before. Whether you're ready to implement existing products, or if you'd like to explore researching and developing a custom deployment of their technology for your school, Violet Defense has the solutions and the experience you need. Thanks again to Violet Defense for sponsoring the Educational AD Podcast and the Mentoring Minute. We also want to say thank you to Sideline Interactive. It's becoming harder and harder to fund an athletic department these days, but Sideline Interactive's indoor scoring tables and video boards can generate $10,000 or more every year, while also creating excitement in the gym and the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. We actually have a Sideline Interactive table in our gymnasium, and it is fantastic. We use it for games, and also signing ceremonies, okay? Go to sidelineinteractive.com or call 832-786-0302 to schedule a live web demo to see their tables and boards in action and see what these fantastic products can do for you. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. We also want to say thank you to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your athletic program. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack gives the 95% of your players and parents who really love your program a voice and helps demonstrate the importance that a positive athletic experience has for them. Go to athleticsurveys.com and check out their testimonials and then call them at 1-800-738-6466 or you can email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Let them help you take your program from good to great. And now let's meet with our mentoring pro, Mr. Dan Como, Certified Master Athletic Administrator. We're back with Mr. Dan Como, Certified Master Athletic Administrator and a contributing member of the NIAAA's uh, Mentoring Committee. Dan, uh, we're on episode three of the Mentoring Minute. Uh, What sort of wisdom do you have for us today? Well, today I want to talk about you changing your... Um, image of your school as an athletic director, involvement in the community. The perception of schools today is is pretty much portrayed by the media, and then the public see it, and um, there's always a a negative twist to it. It was testing years ago, and today it's who's going to wear a mask and who's not going to wear a mask, and um, it's it's always in a negative kind of um, controversial issue when the media portrays high schools. You have the ability to change that as an athletic director. Encourage your coaches to pick a community service activity and not not a fundraiser, but something for the community. Um, Our football team, for example, when the U.S. Post Office did their food drive, the football team was there to load the trucks. When the the, uh, mail trucks came in, they were loading um, 18 wheelers with with the food drive. And people see that and they enjoy being around kids that are in a positive way. We're around kids every day. The public is not. And and it's a novelty for them to be around kids and then see the positiveness of what a real high school kid can be. Um, They will be presented in a positive way and that will generate positive community um, feedback. Encourage your administrator whether it be your principal or an assistant principal, to allow you to join a service group, such as the Rotary Club or the Kiwanis Club. That is made up of leaders in the community. 
and they have a lot of influence. Um, I was a Rotarian for over 20 years and, and they love to have the kids come in and talk about their experience in sports. One of them donated a uh, scorer's table for our basketball program. We didn't ask, he just says, hey, I love these guys. Um, let me get you a table. You will be an ambassador to your school. And that's, that's in it. it's so needed in today's society. Those groups such as the Rotary or the Kiwanis also have um, youth programs. Uh, one of them for the Rotary, for example, is the Interact Club. And it's made up of leaders of your school, young leaders. And they interact with the Rotarians um, very, very effectively. We, we had some teams, uh, the Rotarians do a, um, a Christmas party for um, underprivileged uh, elementary school kids. And uh, they would always invite a team in to help the kids unwrap their presents at the Christmas party and put their batteries in or whatever. But then we just bought them all pizza. And it, it, there was a camaraderie there between the young kids, the, the school leaders, um, like captains of our teams, or, um, you know, and the Rotarians themselves. The Kiwanis Club, they have uh, the Key Club, which is also made up of, of kids. So be positive in your involvement in the community. Get involved with your community. It can only make your school better. Thank you for listening and uh, have a great week. Oh, just another really golden nugget of information. And again, you and I have been doing this for a long time, but you know, I look back over my career in many communities that involvement with those organizations, you're absolutely right. It's great for the kids. It's great for that. Uh, image building that you talked about, but at the same time, you also develop those relationships with potential sponsors that it's just endless. So great, great stuff. Dan, once again, uh, if one of our listeners wants to reach out and pick your brain, how can they get in touch with you? Well, my email address is dcomeau19 at comcast.net. Okay. And that information is also on the NIAAA portal. So, Dan, thanks uh, for listeners. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, we do these mentoring minutes every week. Uh, come back next week. And also, please make sure you continue to listen to the Educational AD podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Jake.